Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mark with Spagabra Backpacking. Thanks for joining me today. I'm out here in my backyard and I'm doing this quick video because I was tagged in a video. So last week I was sick. All week long I had the flu and so I did a lot of watching videos. I was on, on YouTube quite a bit watching videos and I saw that Meerkat Hiking put up a new video. So I went to check it and it was a tagged video. Five favorite backpacking items. And... Uh, so Alex decided to tag me in it. So here I am answering that tag and taking care of business. So a lot of different channels are out there now doing the tagged five favorite backpacking items. Uh, it's been going around for a little while now. I was thinking I was going to avoid it, but no, Alex went ahead and tagged me. Uh, and I've got some great channels that I'm going to be tagging here at the end of this, so stick around for that. Tell you about some channels you probably haven't heard of before, some that you definitely have, but ones that you probably want to check out anyway. So I've got my backpack out here with me. This is my Appalachian Ultralight backpack. Now, I mean, I could have gone with so many different different things. I mean, five items. It could be my backpack, it could be my hammock, it could be my sleep system, it could be my cook kit. There's just so many items that I take with me on every trip that I really, really enjoy taking out there with me. But I had to sit down and think about it. Okay, what are some items that are different than what everyone else is talking about that, uh, that are my items that I take with me on every trip? So let's go ahead and open up the backpack and take a look at some of these items. And actually, the first item is going to be down here in my waist belt. So, here is my first item. So, item number one is the Petzl Actic Core. So, the core is a rechargeable core that goes into this. And because of that rechargeable core, you get extra lumens. It's extra bright, lasts a long time. Uh, so, this thing is up to 350 lumens really really good uh, I really like it works well lasts quite a long time so if you're in the market for a new headlamp this is one to definitely check out the Petzl Actic Core so that's item number one number two is my underground quilts Scully this thing is so warm so nice you know, I like to sleep with a hat on, and so getting this, it's been it's been awesome. Uh, really does. You, you custom order it to your size of the size of your head, and um, works great. Really, really keeps my head warm. Very well done, like everything that's from Underground Quilts. And and a down hat is just super nice, super luxurious. So item number three is one that I've gotten a lot of questions about over the, uh, over the last year or so since I've been doing the videos. And this is my Wilderness Logics pillow. And this is a down pillow. One side of it is just ripstop nylon, and the other side is a fleece-covered ripstop nylon. Uh, super, super comfortable. It's not super thick, as you can see here, and I like that. I like something that kind of packs down and can squish under my head and doesn't really lift my head up too much. I, I've actually slept in the hammock several times without any pillow at all, and and I sleep just fine. But this just gives that little something that kind of cushions and holds my head right where I want it. I actually don't even use it quite behind my head, but more down behind my neck and the lower part of my head, uh, and it works great. On those warmer nights, I use the, the ripstop side, and on the colder nights, I use the fleece side. And the, the insulation part of it really works well to keep me warm. So that's item number three for me. And I know a lot of people have asked about these. I know there are a lot of people using different things out there. Think that you don't need to bring a pillow with you, that you can just stuff clothes in a stuff sack. I just don't like the way that feels. A lot of times I get, it's just a little bit too bulky. I know some people are using stuff sacks that are created with, with fleece on the inside that we put, turn them inside out, they become a pillow. Uh, and there's some pack pillows out there that people are reviewing right now. But this is my tried and true go-to 
when it comes to a pillow. All right, next item. So item number four, this is an item that you guys have seen me talk about before. You've seen Syntax talk about it before. And this is a hang time hook Ridgeline media system. And so in a hammock, you have, you should have a structural ridge line that goes from end to end that allows you to hang the hammock with the same sag every single time. And this is a, a piece that goes on the, uh, on that ridge line. So you, you actually turn it sideways. The ridge line goes through this little slot here, goes up in, you turn it, hook it on there. And so it hangs there in front of you and using item number five from my list, which is my phone. These work together. It holds your phone. And so you can lay in your hammock and watch anything you've downloaded, Netflix, YouTube, if you've got YouTube Red, if you've downloaded some, some Spagiver videos that you want to check out while you're out there. Uh, so the phone, something that gets overlooked, doesn't go on a lot of people's lighter pack lists, um, things that, that people just kind of are, oh yeah, I t it gets taken for granted because they, they always have it with them. The phone does a lot of things. Number one, it's your lifeline. If you need to get out to somebody, if you're not carrying like a spot or a garment in reach, um, it's something that can really help you to get out to people. Then, um, you know, it's an entertainment piece. So some people aren't into, into the videos or into watching movies or something when they're out there. They want to, you know, relax a little bit more and en enjoy the, the sounds of the outdoors. And I, I get that completely. Well, you can, you can put Kindle books on there. You can put other books on there. You can put audio books on there. You can do podcasts. All those things are, are great things that you can use your phone for. And when you combine that with that hang time hook, your Ridgeline media system, really creates a, a situation where you can relax in luxury out in the woods. So those are my five items. Petzl Actic Core Headlamp, the Scully from UGQ, the Wilderness Logics Down Pack Pillow, my Hang Time Hook, and my phone. So now it's time to tag some other people so that they can do this same thing. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is a new channel, new channel even to me, and it is Jessica on the AT. Now, I actually just started reading her blogs. Uh, she's, she's actually got her trail journal going on trailjournals.net. She's getting ready to hike the AT. She's from Canada, and in one of the later posts that she's put up, she said she decided to go ahead and start doing a YouTube thing and vlogging as well as blogging. So I went and checked it out, and uh, she's got some good content on there. She's got some good gear, and she's really putting a lot of thought into what it is that she's using. So go check her out. That's Jessica on the AT. The second one that I'm going to go ahead and, and throw out there is someone that's getting into hammock camping. He's had a, a pretty established channel for a while and a great guy, and that's Devin from Backcountry Exposure. So go ahead and check out Backcountry Exposure. He's now getting into the hammock thing and uh, experimenting and exploring this world. So that's pretty cool. The next channel that I'm going to tag is going to be Trip Smith. I met Trip Smith just this last month while I was down at HangCon, and he's got some great videos. He used to be referred to as Sailing and Such, and has now switched over to Trip Smith. And he's got a lot of kayak videos, a lot of adventure videos, and, and some really cool stuff out there. And I'm excited to see where some of his stuff goes, but he's been getting into the hammock thing as well, so another cool one to see. Next will be Josh Sanders. So Josh Sanders has a, a relatively small channel, uh, but great content and a great dude. And I've always, I've always loved his videos. He's, uh, he's got a good sense of humor, and I, I like watching them. And then the last one is going to be G2 Outdoors. So Greg is the owner of Hot Hammock, which is the t-shirt company that does all the hammock shirts, um, the Dutch bling shirts that are out there, and the Hang Your Own Hang shirts are all done through Hot Hammock. He also has a, a really cool channel. The dude is a very talented fisher, fisherman, fisherman, fisher, ah, whatever. Can outfish me any day of the week. I've gone out fishing with the kids several times and we never seem to catch anything. This guy 
rolls up to a mud puddle, tosses in a line, and pulls out a, a 10 inch bass. So, um, good dude. Definitely knows what he's doing there. So, you guys have all been tagged, and you now have to do a video that shows your five favorite backpacking items. Guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys liked my stuff, and uh, I can't wait to see what all of you guys come up with. I'll see you down the trail.